This is Twit. Should I, can I read this now? Oh, no, that's you, a good email to answer. This is a good one? Okay. I'm nervous now. Yeah, when John Ashley says it's good. He says, that's a good one to answer. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from John of Grey Ghost Productions. Oh, thanks, John. Uh, John from Burlington, Ontario. I am in the line of totality for the eclipse tomorrow. Nice. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I am wondering if there's anything special I need to protect my Pixel 6a and my Rebel T5 taking pictures of the eclipse. Yeah, because normally you don't shoot into the sun, do you? Uh, I just saw a great article on uh, shooting the eclipse with an Android device. I think with a Pixel, in fact. So let me pull that up. I, you know, in to when you're in totality, you don't have to worry, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because it's dark enough, you're going to get the corona. This is from Google. Six tips to capture the solar eclipse with your Pixel. A Pixel camera expert shares which features. So I would read this for sure. This is on the Google keyword blog. Cool. Um, if you're in the uh, area of totality, now look, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. They say, well, you should definitely bring your camera. Your Don't, by the way... Don't cheap out on those goggles, baby. Nope. Get them from the Planetary Society because uh, you don't want to. There are a lot of people, at least it happened last time, selling what they claim are eclipse they, viewing goggles that were weren't. Not. Yeah. And would, you're going to burn your retina. You're going to have permanent damage. Look, uh, at this at this time, it's kind of hard to get them ordered. If you are in the area where there's a Warby Parker, uh, Warby Parker is they making them? many available. Nice. In some cases for free is what I've heard. And they are sourced properly from Warby Parker. They are genuine eclipse glasses. Uh, they say use a tripod. I don't think you necessarily need to use a tripod. That's one thing pixels do very well. They say you can trust the camera to do the work. During the eclipse, the sky will gradually get darker. Oh, uh, really? Oh. As the moon slowly passes between us and the sun, the Pixel phone has automatic settings that can handle this. The screen auto adjusts. Night sight will kick in when the light gets low enough, right? They do say, and this is true of all photography, practice, practice, practice. Prepare as best you can. Create a fake eclipse in your home to practice. Yeah. <laughs> do not, though, and this is a surprise to me, use the astrophotography settings uh, because that is a four-minute exposure and the totality is, you know, only around four minutes, so you're not going to get what you think. Uh, you don't want to spend that all in one photo, they say. Experiment with different compositions. Move the sun around. Take any photos. This is always the advice with yeah, digital. Yeah, always take a lot Just of keep photos. shooting, right? Uh, you're going to focus on infinity, but the phone will do that automatically, but your Canon will not. So make sure your Canon is set to focus to infinity. Um, just now, the question is: Do you have to protect your, you know, your sensor from the bright light of the sun? Uh, you, I think you're you're probably all right. Don't don't point your camera at the sun until it starts to get right. Don't keep it there dark. maybe the whole time, but yeah. once. And yes, Poco in the chat. Uh, this was also something that uh, Rod Pyle Spaceman suggested: is uh, to test your glasses. Put them on and look at a light. Nothing. And if you see the light, then that's <laughs> they're, they're, not, good they're not good enough. I, I, I hesitate to say those kinds of things. Just in case it's... That's, that's not really... It's not the whole you, kit and caboodle, yeah. You go to eclipseglasses.com and at least read about... Let me uh, pull this up. Eclipseglasses.com is the Planetary Society uh, and Bill Nye, the science guy's uh, site for this. They are selling them, but obviously it's a little too late for that since the eclipse as we speak today is tomorrow. But they do talk a little bit about what makes safe glasses. And it, you really have to pay yeah, attention. Yeah, it's more thorough than just looking yeah, at the light. Yeah, you, just look, looking at the light, I guess, is better than nothing. Than nothing, but yeah, I don't, don't want you to damage that, your exactly. eyes. Don't right? take that as its own. Yeah, I don't want you to damage your eyes. So so learn what you can about um, what what eclipse safety. They have a whole page on eclipse safety. And NASA is not in the business of approving or disproving any glasses. So if you see NASA approved, that's a lie. Yeah, there you go. There is a standard though. There's an NSF standard, yes. National Safety Fun Guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't Probably know foundation. Foundation, you think? I Maybe. don't know. Um, 
Core four method to see if your glasses are face safe. The core four. That sounds cool. Uh, this is mostly who you get it from. Um, yeah, this is not. Uh, but you want the ISO certification. That's it, ISO. And right. the ISO certification is one, two, three. I can't read it. My eyes are damaged. He's got his eclipse glasses on. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, dash, two. One, two, three. One, two, dash two. Unfortunately, there's nothing to stop uh, an evil manufacturer from printing that exactly. on their glasses. Exactly. That's why you just, know, oh, maybe they so, don't even look uh, at the eclipse. Yeah. I mean, geez, God Louise. Lady. So, uh, and I guess at this point, you're going to be making your own. And I've heard all sorts of horror recipes, stories. but I've also heard plenty of horror yeah, stories. Yeah. Rod talked about uh, having to get cataract surgery at 40 because of what? a horror story. Yeah. So Rod, Rod looked at the sun. Rod was using a telescope with a uh, with a lens that was supposed that to be focuses it right in. Yeah, your... and come to be forty years old, oh. hit, both of his lenses were just wrecked. You know what? The fun thing to do is during an eclipse is not look at the eclipse, but look. I, I'll never forget this. We were walking down the street during the eclipse, and the trees, the sunlight through through the trees, and then you look at the sunlight, and you can see the eclipse. Yeah. You can actually see, because the tree leaves are act acting like a little Pinhole lens. camera, yeah. And of course, that's what they always tell you to do. And this never was satisfying. as we did in school. You make a shoebox with a hole in it. And then you look at the shoebox instead of the sun. That's no fun. It's really hard, though, because it feels like it's safe. Because it feels like it's dark. Yep. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Look at the tree shadows instead. Uh, Evanescence Photos asking, was there a spec for welding glasses? Yeah, we talked about it, but I don't remember... What it is, was it number 14? Do some research. Plus, I can just look at all of the many, many, many photos that are going to be posted everywhere of the eclipse. I would suggest, though, if you even you don't have... Look, first of all, people are saying, well, I'm not in the totality, so forget it. No, it will still, be, still be even something. here. Yeah. It'll be eerie because it will get dark. Yeah. It won't be to total. You won't have... I think be, it's 30 some percent Yeah, here. even that you'll notice it. So I'm getting my car washed tomorrow. So that should be a good time to have a little fun with the eclipse anyway be outside <laughs> listen for the animals listen for the birds they'll get quiet they think this is strange mm -hmm. some of them will start to begin their sleep pattern yeah what time is it tomorrow here i don't know can't remember uh, there's some great websites for it yeah this is where the web really is your friend the web is your friend um here at NASA's site has a good science.nasa.gov slash eclipses explicit score explicit for so it'll be 1107 pacific time see you all you have to do is put in your zip code right here it knows where where i am so it tells me and we're gonna get 32 percent and uh, the time to the eclipse 22 hours from now it'll be 59 degrees and uh should be clear <laughs> so it'll be fun meteorologist yeah there you go uh, I'm excited. Are you excited? It's yes. fun. I've uh, yes. last big eclipse. Uh, we went down to Australia to see it uh, cool. and on a cruise. It was a geek cruise, uh, and, it, and, it, and it was cloudy. So don't be sad if it's cloudy. Who was it we talked to that was going to uh, to? That Mexico? would be Scott Wilkinson. Was it Scott? Yeah. Yeah. Scott's going down there. I know Jesus Snell's going down. Snell's also going down. He's flying down. It's a big deal. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and take lots of pictures, I guess, but don't look directly at the sun. <laughs> Actually, that's why a phone is a great way to do it, because you're looking at a screen. The problem with a DSLR is you're looking through the lens at the yeah, sun. Yeah, exactly. That's a little riskier. Stick with the phone. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching this clip from Ask the Tech Guys. If you want more, you just head to twit.tv slash ATG, where you can subscribe and get the full show. Or you can head down into the description and click the links to find out more. Thanks. Thanks.